so in in Indiana Jones and and the Raiders and the uh the 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 the, the, what's the third one? Welcome to the raw feed. Patrons. Yeah, no, Indiana Jones. I can't believe I'm how am I? Last Crusade. Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. Uh, what is the name of the object stolen at the beginning of the film by River Phoenix? I know what it looks like. It's like a cross with a circle. Yeah, it is a cross. I've the cross it. of Jesus Christ. Cor Corey. Corey Burkhardt. The cross of Coronado. <laughs> I thought you loved I thought you loved Spielberg and in indie movies. I do. I love the Indiana Jones movies. I think just don't remember. Would you say you like Back to the Future or Indy better? Indy. Like way better? Uh, Indiana Jones 1 and 3 are better movies than any Back to the Future movie. Whoa, you think Back to the Future 1 is worse than Last Crusade? Yeah, I think I can say that pretty confidently. That's crazy. Back, like Back to the Future is like a perfect family movie. Sure. So good though. Like okay, ends. okay, so... Like it's like so Indian Back to the Future. Uh, so like so okay, that solves longer. that. Oh, I, I also think like Back to the Future Two is not a good movie. I like did it at SNSB like when it during in 2015 when it was like the Back to the Future. Uh, I've never seen know, three. I've seen I've to. seen I, oh, I've seen one and two, but three I've actually three. three is better than two. That's like normally mm. my Back to the Future hot take because everyone like loves two because it's like the future and you see all that cool future stuff. Like the futurism of it is cool, but the movie is bad. Uh, three is just like a good movie, but it's all in the West. So you don't like, there's not cool stuff going on. Uh, all right. What about Jurassic? What about Jurassic? The Jurassic franchise? There's only one good one. There's <laughs> only one good. Uh, <laughs> there's one amazing one. There's the perfect movie. And then, <laughs> uh, and then there's a amazing two thirds of a movie that just, just has a terrible last 30 minutes. And then there's all bad movies. And and, and and also the gymnastic scene is horrible too. I it doesn't bug me as much. It's fine. It's like not the best, but like you just hate the San Diego stuff. Yeah, just if it ended before San Diego happened. Like the first the all like Vince Vaughn is great in that movie. Like all the stuff that happens on the island is dope. They like Well the thing when I rewatched it, actually, like the thing that I had remembered from theaters was still true, which is that when the bus goes over the edge and they're all like on the glass at the base of it. Yeah. That's like incredible, yeah. incredible adventure movie that stuff. Whole, that whole, the whole first half of that movie is amazing, and even up to like, like the the tall grass velociraptor chase, and when they're in the rain, and the like T Rex's like head goes through, like all, yeah, that, all love it, love it. Even the hunter, like the whole the hunter is dope too. Like I, I like Pete love Pete half of he's that movie. He's fucking incredible, he's, and then he's amazing. I, and like the gymnast thing is annoying, but like whatever. Like it, it, if that was the only thing that was annoying, people would just like get over it. But because there's also the San Diego stuff, that's like it, like the the biggest mistake a Jurassic Park movie can ever make is to leave the island, which has been true of all of them. Even Jurassic World, which has a lot of problems, is so much better than Jurassic World Two because Jurassic World Two is a movie in a haunted house. <laughs> all right, all right. Shot out of a cannon. Here you go. So. uh Best movie, best the number one and the number two best movie in the franchise. Here we go. Starting with Back to the Future. Number one and number two movie in the franchise. Number one, Back to the Future one is the best. Number three is the second best. Okay, Indiana Jones. Uh, one again, number one and number three. So Jurassic, you're saying it's Jurassic and Lost World are one and two? Yeah, one and two. Star Wars? Star Wars is, ooh, number one is hard, but I would go with Empire is the best, which I know is the lazy answer, and then Jedi is the second best. So Empire Jedi, okay. I think I'd go uh, Empire Jedi less. I think I'd go Empire Jedi, Last Jedi. Uh, I just want. I just want. I just want one and two. I just want one and two. Alien. Uh, ooh, one. Uh, one. Uh, aliens and then Alien. Aliens. So alien. Okay. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter is five and three. Maybe okay. Seven. Yeah. So. Yeah, oh wait. So five. So five is Order of the Phoenix and three is Azkaban. Yeah. I'm yeah, a Order of the Phoenix is I'm super a big sweet. Order of the Phoenix book, and I mean, like, there's issues with Harry Potter, but like, it has to do with retroactive problems with its creator. But like, from from the beginning, Five has always been my favorite book and, and movie. I really like Six a lot too. I'm a big fan of Six. That movie's pretty sweet. Six, I like. I like Six. Uh, six is dope. I think Five, Six, Seven, and Eight are all good movies. Like, like everything past three is a good movie. 
Uh, yeah, I, I think I, I do think it's pretty arguable though that three is the best. Uh, all right, what about five? Has the Dumbledore Voldemort like showdown, right? Like that's and it has like Umbridge, which I think is one of the most realistic villains of all time, right? Like that's the yeah, actual villain of the real. Like no one actually fights a Dark Lord. Voldemort doesn't fucking exist. Umbridge yeah. exists. Like Umbridge is a person that I've dealt with in my life, and I get, get angry thinking about it. <laughs> Star Trek. Uh, 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 Star Trek the remake by J.J. Abrams and then I don't know uh... alright mo- 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 yeah. moving on moving on uh, <laughs> alright all right. M- MCU what's the best MCU the top uh, two MCU movies Ragnarok and Infinity War in that order Okay, I like that you give me credit. Like you, you like Infinity War enough because I feel like some people like to rebel against the big team movies or like dicks about it, and like that's the best one. But I, I respect Ragnarok; it's a really good pick. Like I think Infinity War for me is the clear number one. And like Civil War, is Ragnarok's like, like three, right? Like those are those would be my three. And like it's you can juggle Civil them. War. Not Civil War has like War, a sorry, Winter, twenty Winter, good Winter, minutes. Winter, Winter, Winter Soldier. Yeah, Winter Soldier. Winter there you go. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, it's fair. Uh, all right, all right. Um, what am I forgetting here? Marshall, if you just put this as the hot take, you can. <laughs> uh, Lord, of, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Uh, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Uh, oh, th- none of The Hobbit movies. Uh, and then it is Fellowship of the Ring is the best one. And I think Two Towers is the second best one. Like, the the yeah, I think it's one and two. I think they're diminishing okay. returns. I like... Ooh, I don't know if I've seen two and three more than three three to four times ever and i can't promise i haven't fallen asleep in some of those times not that i don't love those movies they're just like very long and but one one i've like seen 10 times one is like just like one one is also the best single movie right yeah fits far and away it has baromir and he's the hero of the whole story Uh, all right last two two <laughs> Last two uh, for you. Okay, so we 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 answered that one. Uh, DC, just DC Comics movie. DC Comics movies ever. Dark Knight followed. Top two, top two. Followed by. I know you're gonna say Lego Batman. I feel like you're gonna say. Oh, it. do all of them count? Fine. Yeah, every DC movie. Yeah, I think I could go. I think I could go Dark Knight, Lego Batman. I didn't think about the Lego movie. I feel like that's a little bit cheaty. Um, because then, like, can I do like Lego Batman? Of, is not as good as all. You're crazy. It's not Mask as good of the Phantasm. Movie. Like, can I do like yeah, all hundred percent theatrical release? Theatrically released. Yeah, Teen Titans. Phantasm's a really good answer. It's a really good answer. Yeah, Phantasm's dope. I think Lego Batman is the best, most real, the the most honest Batman movie ever made. Uh, I think Dark Knight is the best DC universe ever made movie ever made. I think that. Like, part of me wants to say the original Superman, like, back, back, back in the yeah, day Superman. Yeah, yeah, 78. That one deserves more credit than it is given in modern times and is watchable still. Um, I, like, think Batman 89 is a little bit more overrated than other people, I think, like those movies. DC's hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with my original choice. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with uh, Dark Knight Lego Batman. <laughs> All right. Uh, I feel like I had I had one more question for I mean, you. I had I, I had the Batman franchises you're missing. Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> that that's like to me that's like easy. It's just five, and then it's something that isn't probably a very good movie. Five and seven. <laughs> yeah, seven's whatever. They're they're all bad other than five. They're like literally all bad. They're like, like seven's like fine, but it's like seven. I was like tearing up. I mean, it's well, yeah, yeah, okay, because because of the Paul Walker stuff, that's fair. But that's kind of a cheat. Like, that's not the movie. That's just real. Uh, but Seven is like the best, most fun scene I think in most movies ever to describe, which is when The Rock, uh, I'll just flexes his it. arm out like, of the like, cast after being having his arm broken the whole time, just flexes his arm so the cast explodes, steals an ambulance, drives that ambulance over a bridge into a drone, rips the Gatling gun off of the face of the drone's body, and then single-handedly takes out a Blackhawk. <laughs> I don't remember if it's... It can't be in 7. It's got to be in 5. But I, I was thinking about this the other day, because I think those movies are really silly, but I, I do love them, and 5 is definitely my favorite. Mm-hmm. So when they yeah. write Luke Hobbs as a, as a character in 5, when he shows up, The Rock, and he has his whole bit, he gives the speech to all of them, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and he's like angry and all body butter and all that. And he says, he has his whole spiel, and he says, and whatever you do, don't ever, ever let them get in the cars. What good, what a good setup. Like that, like that to me, when he gives the whole thing and he says that at the end of the monologue is like, that's why these characters are superheroes to us. And that's why he's awesome. Yeah. Cause he's like giving a hero qualifier, but he's also respecting them. Like, it, it, like that line was like, this is brilliant, brilliant action movie writing. Like I'm, I'm super, super in. Um, last two questions. Number one. <laughs> 
<laughs> these are, best these are for two sure video, Best two video game movies? Okay. And the last one is best scene in Mortal Kombat 1995. But if you don't know that movie well enough, you can pass. Uh, the best scene in Mortal Kombat. Ooh, I actually don't know if my brain can separate the first or the second Mortal Kombat movie. But the scene where they're. You actually like, remember Annihilation enough to be able to quote a scene. You're a psychopath. That's a crazy <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> uh, which one is the one where they're in the forest and uh, they're like he's there like when Scorpion first shows up and they're that's fighting. That's the one. That's the first one. That's the first one. Hey, okay. And which is the one in like the demon world where Lizard is? That's also the first one. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, sure. I I don't know. It's re- it's 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 reptile, not two, lizard. But. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, two two is the one where they recast uh, the lightning guy, right? <laughs> it's they like, they like recast like all the important characters. Yeah, they okay. kill they kill Raiden or they kill Johnny Cage and they recast Raiden. I think they recast yeah, Raiden, Raiden as James Remar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's no longer Christopher Lambert, and they kill Johnny Cage immediately. Um, I think my. Be- top two video game movies i think detective pikachu and sonic to be honest yeah sonic's good pikachu hey, sucked detective pikachu is a disney movie right but it's fine it's made for kids like it's a good disney movie and it like has magical pokemon and what's his face carries the movie because he's a charisma sh- machine like he, he is yeah he's famous because he is all charisma and you could just have him in a movie um yep and but it's a Disney movie, which I'm fine with. I'll watch Disney movies all day. I'll I we could do an entire version of Masters of Movies talking about uh the Teen Beach movie franchise on Disney Channel. <laughs> I do legitimately team. believe if we had a Masters of Movies show we did once a month on this channel, legitimately, it would crush. I feel like people like movies, period. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we should try it. Anyway, all right, I'm done. We're relatively you can start. qualified to talk about them. <laughs> We've both worked in the industry, you actively do. 